Hey guys, good morning. I'm currently running out the door. I'm gonna try to catch the train today. I'm going to the Yayoi Kusama Museum. I'm so excited. My mouth is from the shine It's staples and a bunch of tapes I've been stuck here for a while And I'm slowly getting used to it But I can't help it if I start going insane Don't believe the look that's on my face Okay, so I just got off the train. It's gonna be about a 15 minute walk to the museum. And I thought it was like weirdly crowded today. And I thought that was weird because it's a Wednesday, but then I realized that it is a national holiday in Japan. I looked it up and apparently it's culture day which I feel like is very fitting because after all, we're going to a female Japanese art museum today. I got lost in the metaphor. Yayoi Kusama is of course famous for her use of polka dots in her artwork, which is why I wore this polka dot top today to go with the theme, and I just think this restroom was so clever. So photography wasn't allowed on the second and third floor, so here I am on the fourth floor waiting in line for this art room display. Each of us were given a golden flower because we actually get to stick it onto any part of the room we like. Which was actually a bit of a challenge because this room was covered from head to toe. I mean, it was all over the walls, the furniture, the floor, and even reaching up to the ceiling. Friday, baby! It's Friday, baby! Fuck. Yeah, it's the weekend, baby! Fuck. Anyway, moving past what just happened. So the other day after I went to the Yayoi Kusama Museum, which was incredible by the way, I just went home and edited. Nothing really exciting there. Today, I'm about to go to Harajuku. We are going to the Micro Pig Cafe. Are you kidding me? I've been wanting to go here ever since I moved to Japan and it's finally happening. I made the reservation. So anyway, let's go to Harajuku. We're gonna shop around, hang out with some pigs and yeah, all right.
So after arriving to Harajuku, I had a few minutes to spare until my reservation at the Micro Pig Cafe. So I popped into Zara with my partner because he wanted to check out the autumn collection. just finished up at the pig cafe and now I'm going to meet my boyfriend again at a secondhand store called Kinji. Also, I can't believe I just saw that dog walker again. I see him every time I come to Harajuku, I swear. around that huge thrift store here in Harajuku, my partner asked me to come inside of this store because they had the cutest puppy t-shirts I have ever seen in my life. They even had their butts on the back. And for anyone curious about what Takeshita Street looks like at night, here you go. Lastly, to finish up our day in Harajuku, we stopped by Kittyland. They already had out their Sylvanian family's holiday collection. I don't know what it is about these little creatures that I love so much. I actually own a couple myself, teehee. But this shop is so adorable. Even the stairways are covered in beloved Japanese characters. They have every kawaii item under the sun, y'all. I'm talking Sanrio, Sen X, even Studio Ghibli on one of their floors. I'm personally a Rirakuma girl at heart, but if you guys are also into adorable Japanese characters like this, comment down below which one is your bias. <laughs> <laughs> 